me and Greg are the West End dance captains of Hamilton. <laughs> it still sounds so ridiculous when you say I know. that. <laughs> Why are they interested two Americans to look over this British cast? Who knows? Maybe they needed a dose of crazy. Yeah, and they got it times two. <laughs> and we're about to watch Hamilton, the film, for the first time. Because what are we going to do, Greg? Uh, we are going to note <laughs> so room funny. where it happens. I'm sorry, it's so funny. <laughs> in a fun way, not like yeah. in a critical way. Yeah, because, you know, we're not getting paid. So why would we be critical? We just want to spread that joy, spread that love. Yeah. You know, I got this idea. Okay, so the, the room thing came out, as in the trailer, the mm -hmm. first 30 seconds. I watched it, and when I saw our girl Sasha move before she started singing, I was like, it I was like, oh, that's not right. I mean, Sasha's fierce, fierce. We're literally talking about, like, what? Really super critical yes. notes on the show. The, the original Broadway choreography is much, is not different than the West End. Ours is just fine too. It's like combed through. Yeah, because, like, by the time they did the London production, what did they do? Broadway, Chicago. They did a tour, then us, then another tour. So it's like each time you teach something, you make efficient <laughs> the choreography. <laughs> And listen, I, I, I. Because Greg was in the original production, so I like, was upstairs. He knows. I was upstairs while the, whilst this was being filmed, so I completely know it. And I was also moving early, so. <laughs> but we're here giving these notes. Giving these notes, your late toes on ten. You, what are you doing? <laughs> that was a choice. Do you know what I mean? I mean, maybe. The, I mean, I'm sure that Carrie Ann Anwi, who's the resident choreographer, is, has way more. <laughs> She, yeah, she's, yeah she, she's the one who's really laying down the law. Me and Greg are just here to um, make it easily digestible. It's like, it's like she's saying it and all of a sudden we pop over and we're like, yeah, what she said. We're the, we're the, rap, we're the ones on the, on the stage where the rapper's like doing whatever and we're like, yeah. Cup your hands yeah. now. Uh, hey. Sway side to side, oh yeah. One of my favorite things that Andy said was that the original company members were a group of soloists put on stage and the organized chaos is what made it special and so by then like having to duplicate that with all the different companies the cleanliness and like the idea of each number got tighter and tighter and tighter so that it was clearer so I think that's the difference between the UK and America is that like ours ours is so tight and so clean that the focus of each number is focus, focus. Yeah. while I clean my screen with something in my bag it's so dirty. And Greg has like, Greg is, his appliances are always so clean. So I just feel ashamed. I mean, who wants to look at like fingerprints? I'm literally in like a gram fourth right now. You really are. <laughs> look, I have a microfiber cloth. This bitch is That's prepared. gonna be Windex. Well, I don't have anything, Greg. I don't even have water with me. I think I'm making it worse, you know? Yeah, don't do it. Should I spit on it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I have an umbrella. Should we put? <laughs> The umbrella to Over. give it shade? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. You guys, use the tools at your disposal. It's like makeshift self-taping. Yeah. I know how to build a tower out of anything. Bam. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what is going on? Oh, the orange is in the camera. <laughs> this makes me, this reminds me of when me and the other three swings, Carla, Camille, and David did the lighting tech for it. And we did two 10 hour days of Ooh. each number, standing in each position. Oh. I was Burr and David oh. was Hamilton. Oh, amazing. Ah, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Burr, sir. Hey, did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. Did you buy Disney Plus? No, I'm, I'm off, logged on to Jack's account. Did you buy Disney Plus? Yes. Thank you, Jack. What else was in the I already saw something before all of it. I know. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Also, do you not think those lights are like weird? Like they're so straight in our production. Yeah. <laughs> Pause the clip. One, apparently we're meant to end. Apparently, I I, I shouldn't say apparently. When our we version. weren't in our version, we were meant to enter on when we start to sing diametrically opposed pose. But I definitely saw somebody lurking around two Virginians and an immigrant. I think That's it was um woman two. Hope, lover. Okay, one. But you early. Um, <laughs> their walks into the into the boxes are uh, early. early, and and when should they happen? 
uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what happens to room? When we sing. When we sing, yeah. And it should, you should, it, you should land in the box. You shouldn't like go past the box and then readjust. Yes, it's not like you, you shouldn't um, iterate your feet underneath yourself. So you should step into the center of the box, which is toes on time. And Thank you'll probably you hear much. us say this a lot because this is the theme. What were those numbers? But and no one else in the room. What happens? Is it 10, oh, 4, 10? it's um. Or was it 12, so it's 4, 10? 10, 4, 10. Can we move that out though? Isn't it 12? When we learned it in Druid Space, they said PK attitude onto 12. Oh, okay. you as in like you start this on 12, do the thing on 10, and then you do sneaky sneaky to click 4 back, back to, to toes 10. on 10. See, but I remember. They, but then they moved it to 10. I remember it was Leah and Curtis. The butt was supposed to be on 10, then it moved into 4, and then back to 10. Yeah, that's and what. Then, that's the most recent version. No, the most recent version is 12. But they moved it back to 12. Yeah. Okay, you see, this is because I always I kept getting a note from Carrie about going in too far on 10, and I was like, but it's 10. She's like, no, we moved it to 12 because Leah had too far of a place to go, second year. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the, you see, the show changes. The show's not concrete. People are people are changing beings. The reason why we make such straight lines in room is because Burr's way of thinking is very linear. Linear. Whereas, for example, in Hurricane, it's all about circles. What it is is that Hamilton can find can find reasoning in everything. Like Burr's, like you get Burr's, pushed into a corner, basically. Right. Burr's uh, linear like thought process like feels like his back is always up against something yeah and uh, and hamilton always find his way out which is, is a circle because it's endless there's always some mm. there's always somewhere to go i know you hate him but let's hear what he has I love to me say some mm. well, have you been watching real piercer yes i arranged the menu the venue the seating but oh, no. oh okay oh, oh, right. Right. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> she said this she said this what no one else was in the room? Okay, so that's Ariana DeBose, and she will I mean, she, always she lives. will give you everything that you need. Yeah. And that was a full Batma. Yeah. However, we were taught it as not to be a Batma, but more of a release. <laughs> Ari dances. She even dances in lifts. Yeah. And the, the Help Us Satisfy lift, oh, yeah. the back then, Hell she'd be like, <laughs> I'm like, why do I feel your back moving? What are you moving? Is this supposed to be here? What are you moving? She's just like... Love it, love it. There's always a release. Let me tell you, when I saw... So, when I saw the original cast, Camille Upshaw was woman three. Yes. And you know that thing that she does on, um... Sally be a lamb, darling, won't you open it? Skirt! I was literally like... <laughs> <laughs> I was shook I, re I remember when That's she was... That's that Juilliard training. No, I remember when she was backstage, she was like, what if I did this? What if I, I was just like, you're gonna kick me. <laughs> Cause I was on for I was on for um, uh, uh, Man Five, and I come yeah. back in. I was like, "Your legs are going to push me off stage." Like literally, they're endless. They're She's so a beast. long. Okay. This okay. show has this show hires beasts of women, like Amazons. You guys are freaking amazing. I think Just that's because I think that's because Andy really celebrates women, right? Andy loves a technique. If you know your shit, mm -hmm. are we allowed to cuss in this? Yeah. Okay. This video, I, the rules. this video I made for kids. I arranged the mm. menu, the venue, the seating. Look at the click down the hole. <laughs> Get it, Ephraim. watching the show and just being like all right ariana like i i absolutely love your style and you're living and i love watching you but that's deterring from leslie autumn jr she'd be like what's the note <laughs> <laughs> she'd be like i don't i hit my numbers i did everything that i was supposed to do it's not my fault and your essence is like throughout that track so like that's why majority of like bullets mm -hmm are like have that have that like individual something mm -hmm. because it's just like it's, it's ingrained in the track it's ingrained in the track yeah you can't have you can't have a have a bullet and not have sass oh yeah no and not be able to like light the fun like the stage yeah. on fire because like don't you think that when you swing on for different roles like i i feel like i almost have a different personality for each ensemble track that i do yes carry on 
suppose. I suppose. Oh, love that shot. Right? Mm. Leslie in the background. Let's go. Ah. My favorite was Ari's jump. No, one else is in the room. Ta. Mm, mm, the room where it happened. No one else is. <laughs> love it, love it. I was like, shook, shook, shook. Ari, Ari. that's not the way that, uh, that, that Andy demonstrated it. <laughs> We've just cleaned that so much in our company, haven't we? It's like, this should be like a rag that ragdoll feel, as opposed to like having a kind of like controlled, like milkiness to it. Mm -hmm. That should be like literally just parallel to your leg on the ground, not up here. But I mean, minutia, guys. Like, you know, it's more about, it's more about the feeling. But then we're again- We're really clean. But then again, does form fit function? Because if we're clean, we enhance that storyline of Burr having these lines that he's like working against. Yes. I found Room Where It Happened the easiest number to learn in all of Hamilton because it's really? very formulaic. As opposed to something like, what did I find really hard? I mean, obviously Helps wasn't satisfied because there's just a lot of shit going on. But do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm yeah. either on 10, I'm on 5, I'm on 6, 8, I'm in a line. You know, I'm, ne I'm just never like, you must go downstage with this person and then upstage and then out wing one and then get the I feel like I, I feel like nonstop was the hardest yeah, for me to learn really because we were in a studio and it was just me, Stephanie, and Voltaire. And um, yeah. D Watts, and I was just like, <laughs> "Wait, what? Who, wait, <laughs> wait." <laughs> <laughs> there was one time when Steph, when Steph was like, "Do you have that rhythm? I need to see you do it." And I was like, "I'll be able to do it with whatever, with everybody else around me." She's like, "No, I need you. To, I need to see you do it." I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll do it when I'm around people. <laughs> I was like, I'll feel, I'll feel the like, correct timing. She was no joke. Mm. I can't see if they were doing boys go, girls go. Boys I feel like girls. in the original, it's probably just like whatever. I feel like, yeah. I feel like I remember not actually knowing what to go. Guys, one of my favorite parts is coming up. Rua. <laughs> Rua. Pause it, pause it, pause it. So wait, then it was like, ta-da, boom, that. Yeah. That one where both arms are straight instead yes. of the, No, the we've band. changed it now. Oh, I can't remember. Because it, it did used to be straight, but then Steph was like, okay, I know. Like, she even said, like, I know we did say both arms straight, but Andy wants it, one bent, one straight. And that, I could, I, you know what? I probably well, that's still what, didn't that's do that's what it. I just said. It's bent now. Yeah, one it's straight, bent one bent. But, it but was, the original was always straight. Oh, was it? Yes. I feel like we went, like, bent, straight, bent. Or straight bent, straight bent. All I know is that 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 still gets me sometimes. So oh yeah, yeah. I apologize, Stephanie. Um, what else? Oh, it's like the "What do you want, Burrs?" It shouldn't be like a reignition of the arms every single time. No. It should just be like it should already reach its full image, and you just like go 95, 100 again, as opposed to like. We're not flapping. We're not. We're not flying away. We're asking questions. What do you want, Burr? What do you want, Burr? What do you want? What, what do, do you, you want? want? See? See? Intention. Oh, we get the job done. <laughs> wow. This is the most Hamilton punny I've been in a very long time. Well, yeah, because we not been at work. <laughs> you ain't got no job! You ain't got no paycheck coming in. <laughs> My name is on this. Is it? Yeah. Yes, bitch. It was just like stand-ins, blah, blah, blah. And there's also um, swings and standbys, and my name is on the bottom. And I was just like, someone sent it to me on Instagram. Put and respect like, on the name, swings and standbys. Do you know what? We were upstairs. And you stood in for the lighting. Watching Netflix. Listen. On the roof tanning. Oh, we were love. really on the roof. Come on, leg. Get it, ho. That leg went up. Mm. Aries just dancing. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> Can you please do the room, your version of room? Okay, <laughs> okay this so. Is, this is the girl's version. Okay, so Natasha Lever, who is the current woman three, I gave her a private edition because she couldn't come. So I was, so she had to catch up on some choreo. She didn't learn room yet. And I was like, let me teach it to you. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what it should be. Should I do what it should be? 
Okay. No, do your version first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Wop that leg around and out of two. <laughs> Whoa. And then you do seeky seeky. Now, let me show you what the actual choreo is. One, instead of going, ooh, you should be <laughs> knees together and slapping the heel. And I was convinced that this was the choreo. Push the thigh back so that you have that nice whoop. I swear to God, that is what Stephanie Clements taught in the audition for West End. That, and then you keep turning. But and it I went up to Alex. Tick. And I went up to Alex and I said, that's not the right choreography. And I was like, yeah, it is. No, you just slap you, you just slap the back of your foot. And then I was just like. And then Steph came and did it and she said, Oh. I swear she taught it to me. <laughs> I swear she taught me some things too, but then I then I really said not. something and she was just like, That's that's wrong, Greg. You heard me wrong. <laughs> See, I always thought, no one like gave me that note. I always thought it was this. Me too, I always thought it was a shaky shake. But I just watched Ephraim. Ephraim was really good about like doing what, what was given and mm. he didn't have a shake. I feel like in the audition room, we were also taught shake. But like we said, it evolves. Yes, Sometimes. evolution is good. Yeah. And now it's cleaner and only the, up, um, the uh, surround does the shake. Yes. Down, down. No port de bras, as in they're like, it's not about the arm, it's about the, it's just like sinking in. Mm. But my girl was giving it. Of course, it was a cast full of soloists. Also, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. It should just be dun 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 dun. It's not, it's not that big. It's not that big. It's not the step. It's not a release and a contraction. It's not a release and contraction. I mean, it, it is, but it's not a release and a contraction. It's not Grant. <laughs> the umbrella, the umbrella. <laughs> this, this core is, is good. good. That's quarantine core. Okay. I've been biking. My legs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> When I watched it, he literally did that thing in like a hinge full 360 back bend. Yes. And I was just like, any like differences, like significant differences from London to Broadway? Especially from your perspective, because you've done both casts. Um, I think the like, the rowdiness of it, like it just felt like the New York version in the original cast felt rowdy, it felt rambunctious because we were like, the energy was there and then the audience also added to that because well, American audiences audiences oh, are we, we don't want to behave especially you know when he in Captain Battle was like um, you're here with us tonight in New York City and I remember being in the audience and we were all like ah, New York New Yorkers are really proud about being New Yorkers yes like so proud 100% I associated that moment with that much amount of energy and it's hard when you're in the London audience especially when we're noting the show it's like you're here tonight with us in New York City and it's like silence Woo. well it's because it doesn't have any um it doesn't have any feeling to people who are from the UK like you don't feel that pride about being in New York right and I just think British audiences are a bit more polite they're polite yeah they're not as rambunctious I mean Americans in general are rambunctious like we're here in the park literally screaming hollering like we're screaming hollering we're screaming in front of Buddha right now Honey. Well, somebody's trying to take a nap. I don't give a damn. Like, we don't care. We talk about Hamilton. And each person in the cast definitely has Their a memorable thing. personality. Mm -hmm. And like, you can pick them out. Yeah. Kelly. Yeah. Her bevel. Yeah, exactly. Her fourth position. Honey. She's always in a fourth position. Always. She's giving you. She's giving you pulled up. She has to be so tired after the show. Well, that's why she's so thin. Not thin. <laughs> Not thin. That's why she's so snatched. She burns so much calories just being so on yeah johnny bishop johnny bishop johnny bishop johnny man. bishop is a is a fucking um hummingbird he just, is a, yeah he's, he's a hummingbird he's a hummingbird dancer so dynamic but so like crisp mm. that's 
why he was so snatched. I don't get it. Because they're, 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 yeah, he is so snatched. He it, has like 12 abs. He really does. He's like, actually, yeah. I feel like the swings are like, um, they are like, uh, what are those things that like morph into different things? <laughs> Transformers. Transformers. Yes, we're Transformers in the sense of that like, I know, right? I don't know. We're Transformers in the sense of that we have to, we have to know from start to finish what we're doing. Sometimes there's moments where you're just like... Wing two! Not throwing away my shot. Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, I haven't done this for about seven months. Where do I go next? And then you hear that... Dum, 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 da, da, dum, and I'm just like, I'm just Walk. running blindly. And Walk. hoping that my nervous system will say, go over there. But from the audience, you would never know. Very proud of them. I'm very proud of us. Yeah. And like, thank you to the original Broadway companies for making I did a whoa. You did a whoa. I don't do a whoa. <gasps> for making something that, like, it's legendary. It's legendary. When I went to go watch the show for the first time, I wasn't bothered. I didn't care if shit was clean. You don't go to shows to, I mean, at least I don't go to shows to judge the cleanliness of the ensemble. Yes, maybe that's a thought in the back of my head, but for me, it's like I go to the theater to hear stories. Cleanliness and precision might tell a certain story. It doesn't tell the story about Hamilton. Like, he was anything but I mean he was messy he was messy messy but in like the most cleanest way yeah he knew how to fuck shit up but still play by the rules of the man if that makes sense because he just rewrote the rules anyway but he rewrote the rules via the legal system I remember that time in rehearsal Andy said if you feel good doing Hamilton you're, you're not doing, doing it, it right, right. <laughs> that is not what I he's no. like that is not how I choreographed this show nope he was like it should be all selfless and a lot of the times dance is selfish it's like we're we're being like masturbatory and out like a batma to the face and then tilt boom, into a split is very much like look at what i can do yes. and all the choreography in hamilton is like no 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 look at what these characters do with their not even dancing with like look at what they're telling look at the story that they're telling you we're like the ensemble is like the lens that focuses the camera lols because this is now a movie but like in the theater we are what focuses the audience's attention yeah. to what they should be attentioning to. Andy and Steph have a really interesting way of choreographing motivation through dance. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's yes. like Stephanie is very methodical about being like, no, it's this. And there's no room for like questions, yes. which I love because you're just like, okay, like, well. This is, this is the specific intention that you need to be portraying right now. She's like, once you have that, then you can kind of maneuver anything else on top of it and he's like this is where I want your focus to be because it's telling the story that you might not be thinking about but three lines later it's gonna make sense to the audience mm. in a different way that you probably didn't think of as an artist yeah. and it forces you to be a more well-rounded like dance captain dancer artist creative mm. on stage because you've had the ability to take yourself out of it and but also put yourself into it yeah I don't know, I don't know if that made sense no that did make sense yeah. What's the most annoying note that you have to give? I see you in the back. Don't think that I don't. I'm not gonna give names. I know, don't give a name. This isn't about you. Or my other one is, um... <laughs> oh, that's a nice choice, but let's reevaluate that. <laughs> oh God, you know what's a really annoying note to give? The voodoo arms in room? Because we have specified what they are so many. It's like I feel like times. what I feel like what the worst note is for the women is nonstop. Is it? Oh, cigarette flick. Oh, Cigar arabesque. The arabesque. Oh, the arabesque, man. That. And then the intention on the, on the on the tag along. That has so many different things. It's like, there's a lot happening in that section. I think. You want to watch that? Yeah, should we just watch the, the, that bit in nonstop? Because I bet you. Because I bet you, Ariana. <laughs> He's giving it. Because I bet you. Arabesque into Ponche. All right, any closing thoughts, Greg? Um, Watch Hamilton. Subscribe to Disney Plus. Um, <laughs> Says the one who's not subscribed. <laughs> I know, I'm not subscribed. But okay. if you don't have a friend who's going to share their Disney Plus account with you. I mean, it's going to be like, it's like the Netflix, right? Yeah. Also, it's like, I like that Hamilton has done this because normally it's so expensive to get into the room where it happens. You, sometimes I think it's perceived that Hamilton's a bit um, elitist. Yeah. 
and this really democratizes the Hamilton experience. Now, anyone can literally pay six pounds and you can just cancel your subscription afterwards. It's like, six pounds isn't gonna even buy you your bottle of Aquafina that you want at the theater to drink some water. It's very true. You support the arts, um, support and the arts. vote. Vote. Bye, Greg. Ah! <laughs> Do it again, do it again. <laughs> it looks tight on camera. It looks so it's tight. Like, let me do my good side. Hold on. <laughs> oh, what was the choreo? Oh, let me teach the audition first. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm, I'm over here. Eight. I need you to do it on this side. When you wake up in the morning, grab your pocketbook. You check inside your pocketbook and see, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got 10 fucks to give, but I'm not giving any. That's what's up. <laughs>